Excuse me, I can't let you. are not allowed in here, so I'm going to need you to go outside now. Why is that? So you're not going to go by the statue? No. No, you're just going to go by whatever Mark here wants to do? Mm -hmm. I gave you my name when you asked. I don't understand why you can't give me your first name when I ask. Well, you're really confrontational. No, and, and I'm not. Really no, well, you just, you just tried to infringe on my rights and tried I to... I didn't try to do anything. You know what? I'm not going to have a full conversation with you guys. I'm going inside. You do it. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here. Out with Amagansett Press. And today we're in Boulder City, Nevada at the Boulder City Hall. And uh, as usual, we're gonna take some video in public and in the public building and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. Today's Monday, March 7th, 2022. It is 3.28 p.m. and 55 degrees, sunny and breezy. And uh, it's a little chilly out today, so good thing there's an indoor one. So for any of you guys unfamiliar, Boulder City is a small city uh, right by the Hoover Dam southeast of the Vegas metro area and uh, I think like they make a big deal their whole slogan is like the town that built the Hoover Dam so it's a big thing down here so they'll probably have some cool historical stuff in City Hall I would assume that we can check out and we'll see how it goes it's cold out there watching what's up yeah it's a little cold out today when the wind kicks up and you're in the shade. So uh, on that note, might as well go inside and warm up, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they don't have the AC on too, uh, <laughs> too uh... Uh, When we do these 1A audits, I do sometimes exercise my 2A at the same time, which I am doing today. And uh, we'll see how it goes, so stand by. <laughs> so what is this? No firearms allowed on this property. Pursuant to NRS 202-3673, is that what that says? Yeah. All right, guys, so this sign, uh, chime in in the comments and let me know what you think, would lead you to believe that there's no firearms allowed on this entire property. Uh, what the statute actually says that they're referencing Nevada Revised Statutes 202.3673 is the concealed carry of firearms inside the building. Um, so open carry is allowed and uh, does not, is not affected by that statute. So uh, let's go in and see how it goes. I think they have a guard at the top of the stairs. Yeah, see I think that's what it says, yeah. yeah. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, how are you? So for assistance, see guard at the top of the stairs. There you go. It says to see me. I can't let you're not allowed in here, so I'm gonna need you to go outside now. Why is that? Because you got a firearm on you. I'm gonna need you to leave. Does that only count for concealed firearms? Uh, no fire firearms whatsoever. I'm gonna need you to have to leave now, sir. Can we take a look at the statue together outside? Outside, but not in the Very good. Building. Okay. Thank you. We're gonna take a look at it? Huh? The statute only covers concealed carry, sir. Uh it's actually all carry. That's the only one they had to post. So. It's not all carry. I just read the statute. I know, but that's what they, the only thing they had to put up there to let people know not to bring a firearm. Well, could you, would you be kind enough to tell me what the law is that applies to open I'm carry? Not, uh, I have no idea what that law is. I'm just it doesn't, e I can tell you it doesn't exist. Well, you can go across the street and ask them. Oh, I'm here now. Them. I don't want to go across the street. Well, if you don't want to go across the street, I'm going to have to ask you to just step up, stay outside with the firearm. But there is no law that prohibits anybody from open carrying a firearm I inside of a so. public building. If you'd like, I'll give them a call and have them come over and let you. Explain. That would be fantastic if you would. Yeah, I appreciate that. Security one dispatch. I had a gentleman at my door with a firearm and trying to tell me just to come into it. I guess I'm going to come over and inform him that he cannot. Security one, I'll have a house in your right under. 10-4, thank you. I appreciate that, sir. And what was your name? I'm Mark. Mark? 
Mark. Yeah. No. I work for Carnival Security. You work for private. So what's your badge number? Uh, we don't have badges. It's just sewed on. So you have a guard number. No guard number either. Just a security. Nothing, huh? No. All right. All right. Well, we'll talk to the uh, talk to the officers when they get here. All Appreciate right. your help, Mark. Mm -hmm. guys to notice what this sign says is no firearms allowed on this property and they're stating a statute NRS 202.3673 so obviously there is no issue with being on the property according to Mark himself uh, he said inside the building is the issue and uh, I know that not to be the case so we're gonna find out now stand by we have vehicle number 294, the Boulder City Police. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Good. Well, no, don't skip the part where I immediately walked out the door when you asked me to. Uh, you got a little video. It wasn't immediate. You had to ask first. So, sir, as you're probably there, can I just ask your name and badge number so I know I'm speaking with? Officer Ledkate, Boulder City Police, and badge number is 353. Thank you very much, sir. So, my understanding of that statute they're referencing there is it applies to concealed carry arms and not open carry. Okay. Huh? Is that correct? I don't know. Well, this gentleman's telling me it's against the law. I'd like to be able to go into the public building here and take a look around. Can't. Why is that? No firearms allowed in the building. That's not what that statute says. That statute specifically exempts open carry. Okay. It only applies to concealed carry. No firearms in this building. So you're not going to go by the statute? No. No, you're just going to go by whatever Mark here wants to do? Mm hmm Really? Okay. So I need your business card, if you don't mind, please. Then I'm going to go over and speak to your chief. I don't have any business cards, but you can go talk to the so chief. So it's light key? Lead key. Lead key. Okay. And you three, realize that you're wrong, right? Three, five, three. Do you realize you're mistaken? Am are you I? Just, are you just here enforcing his feelings or are you enforcing the law? What? It doesn't make any sense. Are you aware? Can I test your name badge number, sir, since you're here? Sure, I'm Officer Wheeler. Wheeler? Yep, 338. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yep. that. So I was just explaining to uh, Ledkey that my understanding of that statute you have posted there is that applies to concealed carry and not open carry. Okay, well, what's the statute posted there? Let's look uh, it up. It's written, I can't see it from here. I just brought it up my phone. Well, I'll go out there and look because. I'm not going inside. I'm standing out here with you. It's 202.3673. Is that Specific what it is, 3673? Yes, sir. Specifically sure, exempt open carry. So, I follow the law. I just don't follow uh, things that aren't lawful. And it's really not a good idea for you to admit on camera that you're just going to go by what Mark says. You don't care about what the law is. That's a foolish thing for you to say. What's my report? It's not really. It's not? Okay. No. Yeah. Very good. I mean, I think that your uh, your statement earlier that you wanted to speak with the chief about it is probably a, a better action. Cause because you gentlemen don't understand the law. Well, no, I, don't, I didn't say that at all. Well, you do, do you understand the law? You're putting words into people's mouths. Well, I'm asking you. Well, because you're trying to enforce something that's not enforceable. Well, I'm reading it right now because I want to okay. see what your interpretation is versus my interpretation. Okay, because, no, I appreciate. I appreciate you going that, through that's this. That's the reality is, is that you're you're interpreting it how you want to, and sometimes that's not necessarily how the law is spelled out. Okay. So I'm just looking at it. I appreciate here. that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I'm just, and I'm just curious. I'm I'm, cur just asking for my curiosity right here. Well, here it is. Uh, well, I'm looking at it right here. I have yeah. it. I have it. So on, prohibits concealed well, firearm. What, what's your name, sir? I didn't give. Okay, well, what's your first name, sir? Well, let's get to the bottom of this. Well, yeah, I gave I'll, you and then I'll, I'll, I'll properly introduce myself. I gave you, you my, guys are I gave you my name. I gave you my name when you asked. I don't understand why you can't give me your first name when I ask. I'm just not interested. I only answer okay. certain questions, sir. Okay. And I'll be like I said, once we once we come to terms okay. on what the law is here, I'd be happy to uh, well, let's, tell you why. Yeah. I mean, 
So you understand, I'm literally just trying to be personable, right? I'm just right. trying to right, talk right. to you like a person. Absolutely. And I typically talk to people with their names. Mm. Yes, sir. That's how I typically well, talk I just to people. Once so. we figure so. out what's going on here, I'd be happy to introduce myself to you. Not a problem. Okay. Well, that's on you, I guess. But So I'm looking at it on the NRS, or on the state legislation page right now. Okay. Just to see what it says. So give me a minute, because it's a very yeah, so, long statute. There's quite a few really different things. And I really do appreciate you taking so, the steps to look it up. So and I'm, curious, I'm curious what the goal is here today, though. What my goal is? Yeah. Well, I carry my sidearm for okay. self-defense, personal protection. Okay. I'm from another state that does not have reciprocity with my home state concealed weapons permit. What, what state so, are you from? Do you mind me asking? Uh, I'll maybe tell you in a little bit. Oh, okay. But so I'm trying to answer your question. So okay. according to Nevada state law, I have to open carry. I have no choice. Or okay. I have to leave my firearm at home. Okay. So that's not, I'm not interested in doing that. So based on your state well, I can law. Appreciate, I can appreciate your desire for the Second Amendment and want to be able to protect yourself. Absolutely. I have no problems with that. Sure. And then other than that, my sole purpose here today is just take a look at your city hall. Never been here before. Okay. Do you mind me asking why you got brought two cameras to video the city hall? I only brought one. Well, you brought a, another person with you with a camera, so right. there's two well, of you he, with two cameras. Right. So, and I assume that you two are together. I'm traveling and I'm documenting my trip. Okay. Okay. No nefarious intent, I can tell you that. Okay. No will will, no nefarious intent, just a couple of guys out with cameras on public property enjoying the day. Exercising my right to be a free American. Okay. And this is a long statute, isn't it? Well, and I'll tell you what, I do my homework very extensively. I speak okay. with my attorney before I do these things, so I know what the, okay. I know what the law do, is. Do things like go on to visit city halls? I can go into a courthouse open, Karen. Oh, I'm just asking, because you said do these things, so I was trying to clarify what things you were talking when about. When I'm doing. going to go into public places that have unlawful signs posted oh, on okay. the doors, I usually make sure that what the case is, because I'm not interested in violating the law. Not my style. Okay. And I think it's important, as you would probably agree, that security here at the building and the police department know what the law is and enforce the law properly. Well, and, and I, think I, that's important. I don't disagree with the uh, statement that law enforcement, it's important for law enforcement to know the law uh, and enforce it properly. Security, on the other hand, is just security. They don't, they're not law enforcement, so. He, well, uh, but security shouldn't be enforcing well, non-existent not, statutes. Well, he doesn't enforce law. He so pointed not, to that not, sign and said, according to Nevada state law, I can't let you in here. But he's also not law enforcement. You see what I'm saying there, right? Like, okay. so well, we're he, arguing semantics. Under, under his, I think it's important for the security the guard to understand the rules of the building okay. and the law okay. as well. If you're going to be security in a building, I think you should understand the law. If you disagree okay. with that, that's up to you. I, I appreciate your perspective. Well, it's not that I, I don't disagree with him knowing the laws or, or the rules, but he's not law enforcement, so, it's not, so he doesn't enforce any laws. Well, his job is to observe and report. So if he observes a violation of the law, he's supposed to call you. Well, if he observes, and something, if he doesn't know what the law is, if he, he can't observes observe something that he's been instructed to uh, right. to not permit on a premise, then yeah, that would be something he would contact us about. No, those are very misleading signs. They mislead the public, and they've obviously misled the security guard here and two police officers from across the street. So I think it's an important point to clarify because if you. Uh, if you violate the law, you get in trouble for that. If you're not violating the law, no reason you should. But take all the time you need. I can assure you that open carry is allowed in this building. You can even call the uh, city attorney's office and ask them. Well, it's actually inside that building, so I'd yeah. have to go inside there and talk to them. Yeah. And you also have to understand, that's why you're getting a little bit of my nicer side. Your uh, other officers just got a terrible attitude. Oh. Just admitted to me on camera that he wants to enforce Mark's feelings. Doesn't really care what the statute says. Oh, okay. So yeah. That's, well, that's, that's, that's and I'd that's rather disgrace. and I'd rather read through something because you know I I want to be I want to be making sure that I'm like I said interpreting things the same way that you are. So and I and correct me because I don't I you may know and I don't know because you're obviously you've researched this a lot more than I have on on yes, your sir. aspect of it. Okay. Yes. Um, well, actually, I take that back. I, I do know the answer to the question I was going to ask, and it doesn't pertain to you, because it would pertain to uh, CCW holders. Correct. So The only person that that sign could possibly pertain to lawfully is a CCW holder. That's correct. So. 
Well, and the one I was thinking of was there is a, there is a caveat for CCW holders that uh, talking about signs posted at both entrances, metal detectors and such. Right, um, right. So, um, yeah, but that does not apply to open carry. Yeah. So let me just put it this way, reading through it, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I disagree with you. Okay. okay. Um, with that being said, I'm not the, the highest up authority here. Okay. Um, so my request, just my request from one man to another would be to ask you not to carry in there um, or to talk to somebody that's got more authority than I do. Um, I already know what the law is, sir. Right. And I respect but, your request and I'm listening to you, but right. I would like to be free to exercise my rights Well, and follow the law. And, and I have people that are above me in rank that I don't get to supersede, that I would have to get involved here probably just to make sure that, Why don't that we just ask I'm the city not attorney? doing that I'm not doing anything wrong on my end from the sure, job, you, right? So, so, so how about this? I'll can I get a supervisor? I'll, I'll formally request a supervisor. Sure. That helps you. Sure. Hold on one second. Let me get, I'm going to step inside because there's one inside, okay? Okay. Very good. Thank you. So again, guys, I can tell you with absolute certainty that this statute does not apply to open carry, and uh, he knows that already. Um, but they're going to try to save face. Um, but we are going in with my sidearm openly carried, so uh, don't go anywhere. Stand by. Why don't we just call the Boulder City attorney? All right, so Boulder City attorney. Let's give him a call. So the number, just so you have it, is 702-293-9238. I'll put it on speaker. City Attorney's Office is Bernadette. Can I help you? Yes, hi, Bernadette. Uh, is the city attorney available, please? She's on another line at the moment. I can take a message. Yeah, uh, well, we're actually outside uh, the front of the building. I'm out here with Boulder City PD, and we're just trying to clarify what the law is as far as openly carrying firearms inside the building. So. If somebody might be able to come outside and have a conversation with myself and the Boulder City police officers that are here. Okay. Um, and you wanted to know what the uh, law was with regards to open carry. Well, I, you have a sign on the front of the building that says no firearms allowed on this property and references uh, Nevada revised statute. That statute only applies to concealed carry. It does not apply to open carry. So I just want to confirm that with you and uh, be, be straight on what the law is here with the officer outside. Okay, and can you uh, let me know which officer that is that you're with? It's Officer P. Wheeler. Okay, well, um, yeah, let me... Um, I'm getting blinded there. I have a number here of... Um, I, I'm going to have to get back with you. Um, she's on another call. I don't know how long that, how much longer that's going to be, but, um, no worries. Okay. I'll have, uh, her get back with you at that number. Okay. Appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. All right. Yes, sir. sir. So would it be possible for me to get your first name now since we've talked amicably? Well, like I said, let's, let's just get well, right on what the law is and then okay. I'll formally introduce so, myself to you. So, Absolutely. well, I would like to introduce you to my lieutenant here. This is Lieutenant Healing. How are you, Lieutenant Healing? I'm good, sir. How are you? Very and, uh, good. Thank you. I appreciate I, it. I would introduce and can you I just back, ask your band, I, band uh, number, please, sir? 299. 299. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate introduced it. you back, but he didn't want to give me his name. Oh, I'll um, give it to you before we leave. So, anyways, after discussing with my lieutenant, both okay. of us, he, while I was reading the, the statute here with you, okay. while, while I was reading it to myself while I was out here with you, I should say. Okay. He was also reading the statute in there. I went in and I talked to him. Okay. We both agree that that statute specifically discusses concealed carry. Right. Okay. Um, with that being said, if you'd like, I'd love to walk you around. There are restricted accesses in the building that the public does not have access to. Okay. But I'd love to take you inside and walk you around. Well, I'll tell you what, I appreciate, you I appreciate your offer. Um, I do not need a babysitter. It's been a very long time. I'm 52 years old, but I can tell you that I have absolutely zero interest in going into any restricted areas. A matter of fact, I deliberately avoid restricted areas like the plague. Not interested in getting any trouble today. Not interested in violating the law. I'm just interested in freely being able to check out the publicly accessible Here's what areas. I will say, and I, and I know you're going to agree with me because you do this probably pretty regularly. Okay. 
walking into a public building is scary for a lot of people that are going about their daily business in here. Okay. And I'm sure you'd agree with me. Some people get, as much as you and I may disagree with it, a little concerned when they see a unknown person with a gun. Well, no, I'll tell, so, I'll tell you what the fear is there. I can, I can certainly agree with you, what you're saying. But I think part of the well, problem you don't is... don't have a fear, and I don't have a fear. No, but I'm agreeing with you. And I think You've part of what the problem is, is your security and officers not being knowledgeable on what the law is bolsters that fear. Well, you, if you're, but officers, you also, you're also looking at a statute book that's 700 chapters thick. No, I'm looking so at one... You only, have, you only have one sign on that door. I so I think whoever you, put it up should know what the right law is. I can tell you right now, in the 15 years I've worked for this department, this is the first time I've ever ever had anybody come over here and discuss this statute because so people because that first of all that sign is misleading i'm going to make sure it comes down that sign's not going to be there well you, you can do longer. whatever you want but my point is you're free to go in but just remember that you're going to concern people in there okay? i'm not going to concern anybody you are no i'm not okay i think if the people work listen like i said there's only one sign on this door that sign is the sign we're discussing. There's not a myriad of signs and people don't. So every day when the employees come into the business, they look at that sign, correct? Mm -hmm. So they know that there's a sign up on the building that says firearms are not allowed in the building. Right. Right? Right. Okay. So what are we doing? I'm just moving. Okay. I'm, I'm allowed. Yeah. All right. So let's not start playing games. We're being respectful with each other. I'm not playing games. All right. Listen, you, just because I proved you, you wrong, you've just let's got not this, start getting a little attitude. You're talking okay? behind a camera and it's just... I see what you're doing here, and I respect it because what I'm doing is documenting. I, I look at, no, I look at the videos you guys produce. Okay. And I see what you do. Okay. And you're you're really good at it. Me so specifically, or people that do what people we do? that do what you do. Okay. You're really good at it. Well, so it's not I'm, about being good at it. It's about knowing what the law is. No, it, it is about being good at it. and knowing the law. You're okay. absolutely right. But officer uh, officer Wheeler here said that you guys are free to go in. Just don't go in any unrestricted areas. Or I unrestricted have areas. no interest in going in unrestricted areas. And you're areas. fine. Right. Okay. Well, he asked me if I wanted a babysitter, and I declined. Well, he's going to go in there and escort you. Well, that's up to him. As long as you stay out of my shot. I don't need to... Uh, I don't, I don't, get I don't, him, don't get him in your shot. Well, I don't you want my, I don't want my freedoms infringed on. Listen, why don't you guys, why don't you just be a big boy and just say, you know what, we made a mistake, we had a check, you're free to go in, have a nice I day, I think sir. we just did that. Why, what makes you feel I like you need to follow me around? That. You've got concerned employees. Why don't you go in and tell them that there's nothing unlawful about well, what I'm doing? He's going to, he's going to join you. Well, why don't you go in and tell them? I'll wait, he's gonna I'll wait 10 you. minutes before I go in and give you He'll a chance to make the rounds. He'll go with you, it's no big deal. Or you can stand out here in the sun if you want. You guys don't like people that know the law, right? That's I what it is. You, I think it's great that you know. Here, here's, here's what here's I wish more mind. people did know. I just wish you went about it in a little better way. What would you suggest I do? I know that it's you completely just, lawful just, for look, me to show just, up You're here. really confrontational. No, and, and I'm not. Really no, well, you just you just tried to infringe on my rights and tried. I to, didn't try to do anything. Okay, your department. I didn't try to do your anything, department. but you just said you specifically. You represent your department. You know what? I'm not going to have a full conversation with you guys. I'm going inside. You do what right, you have want. Have a good day. Yeah. See you later. And this sign's coming down. Take a last look at this sign. That's why I do what I do. If we relied on you guys to do the right thing, we'd have problems. So we get straightened out here today, Mark? As they say, it's okay. And you know what? You're a very respectable individual. You treated me with respect, and I thank you for that. So thank you. I appreciate you. All right? And I understand you're doing your job, and you did what you had to do, and I have no issues with that. So thank here's you, my here's my plan, just so you know what my plan is. I'm not really concerned I'm, with what your plan is. I'm just going to... I don't even want to hear it. Okay. Not interested in your plan. I don't understand why you're being disrespectful of me. Now, I was because you get what you give in this world. So I could you to, listen, I don't want to create a disturbance. I've been completely this is why respectful I want you to, follow to you. Around. Can you just leave me alone? Well, I, I'm going to... You want to stand I'm back gonna... and observe, do your thing, but I'm not interested in conversing with you. I'm done with you. Okay. Thank you. So here's the city manager's office. Key to access. Yes, can you have community developments? Yes, some artwork on the walls here. Ma'am, do you know if the city manager is available? He's not. He's, He's in a meeting right Thank now. Thank you very much. So, employee break room. 
So you guys are foolish, but you're bolstering the fear. I'm going to expose the crap out of you. That's the way it goes. You should honor your oath and you should respect the people you work for. Instead of trying to be a tyrant and exercise people's fears, not a good idea. Mission statement. City of Boulder City is committed to preserving its status as a small town with small town charm, historical heritage, and unique identity while proactively addressing our needs and enhancing our quality of life. Sounds like a good plan. You can put it into action. Man. Council Chamber, you can go in. That's okay. Yeah, just, uh, I think that there's part of it that is under construction. Doesn't look um, like, uh, oh, I think it might actually just be this outside hall over here. So that's the only place that they. You're just, just because of the me a directive, aren't you? We're all informed that we're supposed to stay out of the, instru the construction. That's all I'm doing. Well, that's no. because you're a city employee and you have to follow policy. I don't. Policy doesn't affect me. Well, I, fo I follow the rules. You said you didn't want to go into anywhere that's restricted. This so is not restricted access. Anything that's under construction is restricted to the public right now. It's you would have to put up a sign that says so. restricted access construction zone. You can't expect people to know that. Just like you can't expect people to know that they can open carry in this building with the misleading sign you have on the front door that will be taken down soon. There's an old expression, when you find yourself in a hole, quick dig You might want to try that. We could have had such a nice cordial experience with each other here, too. See, the way restricted access works is like here, the doorway to this that you're trying to block off, there would have to be a sign here that says restricted for you not to be able to okay, walk well, through. But you're not going to go through here? Sure. No, you're not. Sure, sir. I want to check yeah. out what's outside sir, you're going to start a Sir, you're going to start a disturbance in here if you do. I can show you the outside of that door from the outside of the building. See, this is why I don't want so. you following me around. Okay. There's nothing here. Show me where it says restricted. Okay, let's see where it says restricted here. There is nothing, sir. So I'd like to go take a look at that door. Is that okay? Adam three one Sam, are you still around? So you're not gonna let me walk back there? We've been instructed that this is closed to the public because of the construction for safety reasons. So why wouldn't there be some yellow so, tape or a sign up or something? I don't know because I'm not the one doing the construction, sir. No, you're just trying to exercise authority because you're frustrated that you got beat. Look, I read through the whole NRS and I agreed with you that that NRS. Yeah, but now you're making up restricted areas that don't exist. Right. Now they're just trying to go into the construction area that we were advised is closed to the public. Is this restricted too? Nope. Right. Nope, that goes down to the utilities. How do I know it's not restricted? Oh, it's not under construction right now. Because there's no sign. So it's not under construction, that's why. It's do you not really, a do you really believe a normal person would so, walk in and see something that looks like it might be under construction? Well, they might see oh, things hanging down area. from the ceiling and realize that that looks like a safety hazard. How much do you want to bet that side door is open? So, uh, actually that side door should be locked because it should be a key access, or card key access. Well, you also told me some other stuff about the sign on the front door, so. So, I'm just sure. telling you what I'm under the impression of that that's, well, that I'm should be. Well, I'm done with your impression. I'd like to stick with the actual facts of the law. Impressions are very subjective, and so far you're betting zero on that one. So this is Public Works. The bathrooms 
back here. So this way is the finance department, business licenses, utility billing, and public works. Is behind us. Hello. Hi. We have some uh, business business machines in here. I guess copy center, and maybe they print up their plat maps in here. So see, this is a restricted area, just so not, you know what they look like. Sign, authorized personnel only, key to access. That's a restricted area. Even this is not a restricted area. So there's the finance center. how you treat a member of the public that shows up here to take a look at your building. I really do. They have these signs up all over the place. So are you knowledgeable about the law when it comes to your police department? Yeah, so they went up there. So uh, maybe I'll come around the other side. Since he wants to follow us around, you can only follow one, one of us at a time. So is that the whole building? Downstairs, this floor, that's it? That's it. All right, cool. Well, I appreciate you, Mark. Hopefully, uh, I don't know what you'll do. Next time somebody shows up open carrying, you're going to call these guys again? Depends what uh, happens uh, at the end of the day today when my reports go in. Okay, and we're going to try to get these signs taken down for you to make it a little more clear cut. You gentlemen have a good day. You too, sir. All righty. And uh, Did, are you ever going to give me your name? Your chief will have it. Just your first name? Your chief and the mayor will have it. Okay. It'll be on the complaint form. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. the rest of the police department. <laughs> All right, guys, so you saw how that went here at Boulder City Hall. Um, you know, nobody knows the law in here. And uh, like the lieutenant said, nobody's ever come in and question it. So they've had these, these signs up everywhere that say no firearms, and that's not really the law. And... Uh, have everybody freaked out about it with a cop following us around like we're doing something wrong so you know we're gonna have to follow up on this with, with the appropriate channels trying to get those signs taken down and uh, you know contact the mayor chief of police etc and uh, city attorney and uh, try to do something about that so you guys can let me know what you think in the comments and if you guys want to try to uh, contact any of those people contact info is always in the description uh, so you can let the police department know what you think of the way they handled this. Let the city hall know how you think of the way they handled it, uh, the city hall employees. And um, you can contact any of the administration here in the city and try to get those signs taken down. Uh, we're going to try to, unlo those unlawful signs should be taken down and we're going to try to do what we can. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the comments and all that contact info is in the description. Uh, a lot of stuff in the description, playlists, everything down there, a lot of good info. So make sure you check that out. And uh, that's about it for this one, guys. So if you like these videos, support what we do, you want to see more of these videos, best way to help us out is to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, check out my other social medias. So see you on the next one, guys. Uh